I'm here with Kirian Gethin. Kirian is a boxer out of the UK, one of the hot, promising prospects out of such a great region. Kirian, thanks for joining me, brother. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm very good. So, Kirian, um, for for people who don't know you, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. How did you start getting in? How did you originally get involved with boxing? What was what was the uh, the start in your career? Um, I I've got boxing way back in my family since pretty much since the Quinsby rule started. There's there's about four generations of boxers. Um, three three of those have been professional. Um, so it's always been in my family, but I was never really that interested myself. Um. I, there's videos of me down down the gym. Funnily enough, I've just been watching today as a little kid, me and my brother hitting each other low and, <laughs> and sparring and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, it wasn't until I was about 12 when my brother wanted to go down the gym um, and I went with him because he had a problem with a couple of travellers down there. And I thought I'd help him being a big brother, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just went to, to act like a big, big hard brother. So you just went and made a book? bunch of noise and scared them off huh <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so you had a fight coming up brother and and your uh your arm you had you had an injury with your arm what you said you got an mri on the 12th what are y'all thinking it is um the initial assessment was uh a torn ligament or torn tendon um we've got the the mri on the 12th and then a doctor's appointment either the 14th or the 22nd i'm waiting to find out um, so yeah, hopefully the, the consultation will, uh, will let me know um, how we got to go about it, whether it's rehabilitation or operation. But um, I, I was doing rounds with um, Jack Catterall, world number one. You know what I mean? And if if he had noticed that I couldn't use my left arm, you know, it could have been serious trouble for me. So if we'd have gone into a fight like that. Um, I think unless I disguised it very well, it could have could have been a you know a bad a really bad decision. Well, you never want to fight injured either. I mean, that's not that's not the real version of you. You know what I mean? No, you you never you never especially as a fighter, man. You never go into a fight hundred percent. You know what I mean? Uh, Tyson Fury said that recently. You never go into a fight without an injury. Um, I before this injury, I I'd had a knuckle injury for the past best part of six of my pro fights. So I've, I've always really been going in a little bit winged, but um, I mean, there's no excuses for any of the results of my fights. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm perfectly, perfectly happy with my performances for all of them. But um, I mean, when it's really hindering you, like I would have done for this one, uh, especially against such a classy southpaw, um, it, it just had to be taken a decision that was taken. You. Know? So talk to me about your first uh, career professional loss, man. Uh, you're a hot prospect, like I said. You're you're coming up, and, and you suffer your first loss. What was your mindset after that? Was it was it man, I've been defeated, or was it like hell, we got to come back and do better? Yeah, it, it the loss one, it should never have been a loss on my record. Um, you, you know, there's, there is footage out there of it, and uh, there's there's no <laughs> no way I lost the fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm chasing him around the ring for four. It was only a four round fight. The bloke had six stitches in his eye. He didn't fight for six months afterwards. Um, and yeah, the the it goes to a point to him, but he was in his hometown. It was only an hour's drive away from my place, but his his hometown sold a lot of tickets, and that's the politics of it. You want to get back at him? Yeah, maybe. He was actually a uh, light middleweight, and I think fights at middleweight now. So my yeah. first was uh, a super middleweight fight. So. I, I don't know if I'll be going back up to that way anytime soon, but he's only a young guy, so maybe when we're both 30, I'll clip him again. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's your what's your career goals at this point, man? What are you what, what are you trying to accomplish as a boxer? I really feel like that I, I, I've got the potential to win European titles, international titles. Um, that's definitely what I want to get to. If I can push it further and get a world title opportunity, then fantastic. But um, I mean, my immediate goals are probably the British and Commonwealth titles. Um, I'd like to win a Celtic Nations title. That's, that's, that's a good belt. Um, uh, but yeah, I think the, the the level I want to aim for and get to is European. In the, in the so I did a lot of research. You're, you're a fun boxer to watch. You bring you bring the pace and you just you look like you're enjoying it out there. What's it like for you being in the ring? Especially. Especially like you fight in the UK mostly, which is that's your people's, you know. They 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 eat it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
it's empowering when you when you've got the crowd behind you and things like that, and it's also empowering in a, in a really perverse way when when the the crowd's against you, and then <laughs> you come out and you you're victorious or whatever, you go hand lifted, and they they're the one shout with you afterwards. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> it's funny how fickle fans can be, but um, also like you say, very empowering. So have you ever been out in the barn and there somebody was like, holy shit, that's Kieran Kathy? <laughs> yeah, actually, a couple of times. I, it sounds, uh, sounds a bit like a knob, but um, like my hometown, Abergavenny, I, I do I write in the local newspaper there and things like that, so people stop and actually have photos and stuff with me, and that makes me feel fantastic, you know what I mean? I do love it. I've been there too. I played music, a lot of music, man. I played local, and they're like, holy shit, that's Blaine from Henry V, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember the first time it happened, we were walking downtown and stuff and they uh, i caught somebody whispering that's henry v. that was with some of my bandmates and I was like, that's henry v. i'm like dude did you hear that it was it was the coolest thing ever i imagine it's similar to you yeah you, you you're more excited uh that they asked you rather than that they seen you yeah, <laughs> yeah. so so what about outside of boxing man what do you like to do besides box um i actually run a construction company um yeah. I wouldn't say that's a that's a hobby. That's more of a necessity. But right. <laughs> uh, um, I want to build something to last. You know, what I mean, some of me and my kids and everyone can work for. Um, I I also like writing as well. I've written a book. Um, and got plans for another one or two. So what's the uh, book? Plug it. Uh, <laughs> Insight by Kieran Gethin. It's on Amazon. Um, so yeah, you can find it on there. It's uh, it's uh, only a hundred hundred or so pages, but it um it basically it's different feelings, different situations I've had in my boxing career, like um, my father passing, uh, how boxing helped me deal with that, um, down to nutrition and, and my, my relationship with my wife and kids as well. You know, there's, there's a bit of everything in there. It's not like an autobiography. It's just different situations I've been in and how I've dealt. Do you have, uh, is it physical copies or is it uh, digital books? Yeah, yes. Um, f- f- uh, so, uh, paperback um, copies you can buy on Amazon. I'll be uh, ordering one as soon as we get done, man, because I like that kind of stuff. I love it. Thanks, uh, so last question before I let you go here, man. Tyson Fury. I know who you're going to pick. Tyson Fury <laughs> and Deontay Wilder should be fighting uh, for a third time, which I think is a dumb idea. Uh, Tyson Fury is very obviously the better boxer. Uh, but <laughs> Yeah, but he had that suit on. But he had that suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how does he go on Joe Rogan's podcast saying I work out with a 45-pound vest and then making an excuse about the suit? I don't know. Madness, madness, but uh, oh, it's, you, I mean, you, you're gonna pick a, the UK guy, go ahead. As a pro fighter, you're always trying to find the excuses, right? And he's he's obviously just searching the fury is 100% the better fighter. He should have won the first one, he hammered him the second time, and I do honestly believe he probably would beat him quicker again the next time. <laughs> um, but it's such a big money fight for Wilder, I, I don't blame him in the slightest for wanting it. Well, okay, so I'm, I lied. I said one more question here. If there's two UK guys, Fier- say Fury beats Joshua and Joshua gets passed, uh, who is he fighting? Um, uh, uh, Povetkin, is he fighting? No, he, he beat Povet- Pulev. That's who it is. I knew it started with a P. Uh, <laughs> Pulev. Um, say they, they, they go and they match up for all the marbles. Lineal champion, all the belts. Who wins that? I'm going with Tyson, though. Yeah, Fury, man. He, um, he's just so big and awkward like you couldn't even imagine him being in with the heavyweight greats because he's, he's like six foot nine so yeah. you know he's, he's, his balance looks like he should fall over all the time I mean he's got his, his little jerky neck and things but he gets the job done man that's all that matters <laughs> yeah hey have you ever played the video game Sonic the Hedgehog yeah you think he looks like the Eggman <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Fury looks like the Eggman from Sonic. I I I, I stand that. Yeah, I I'm gonna take that with my friends now. Go straight on the group. Oh, <laughs> uh, Kieran, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, get me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. It's um at Kiwi Gethin or at Kieran Gethin, and you'll find it everywhere, man. All right, brother, I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to the next fight, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you very much. Look after yourself, bud. Later, bro. Bye. Bye.